So hey everyone, here's how to use the S shake effect to make a Y shake on Premiere Pro. First of all, prepare your clip, mine is right here. And what I'm going to do next is apply S shake, which should be underneath Sapphire Distort. At the moment, you can see it's quite randomized. So the first thing we need to do is open up the X and the Y shake. So I'm going to open up X and what we're going to do is decrease the amp to zero. Do this for the Y as well, so all the way down to zero. We are only going to be focusing on the Y shake, so you can collapse the X, and you want to increase the wave amp to something like 200. Now if you take a look, you can see we've got a vertical bounce. Now scroll up and what you want to do is set a keyframe for the amplitude, so hit the stopwatch. So that keyframe is for the beginning, you want to head towards the end, it doesn't matter where, but somewhere near the end, and you want to set the amplitude to zero. Alright, now let's take a look. Not so bad, however it doesn't really look smooth. So what we can do is turn on the motion blur, check this box, and you want to increase the motion blur length all the way up to 4. Not so bad, but I feel like it's too quick and a bit too consistent. We want it to slow down over time. So we're going to open up the graph by clicking on the arrow next to the amplitude stopwatch. That's going to bring down these graphs and what you want to do is click on the second keyframe and drag this handle all the way to the left. So click and drag, make sure that it is leveled, not too high or too low. So it should look something like this. As you can see, I've got a very smooth curve, so just copy my graph. Now let's play it back and see how it looks. Awesome! If you feel like it's too quick, you can turn down the frequency. So at the moment it's set to 8, I'm going to change it to 6, and this is what it looks like. You can see the shake is much more delicate than before. And finally, if you think there is too much motion blur, then you can just turn the amount down. So let's go for 2 instead of 4. And this is the result. It looks perfect. We can actually enhance it even further by using my free S shake presets pack. So let's go for a scale out. So I'm going to add that onto my clip and also a flash effect. So I'm going to add flash 2. And here's how it looks with my presets added on. Amazing! As I said, it's completely free to download and you can grab it in the description below. It contains over 20 presets from X, Y, Z and Tilt Shakes. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested, then check out this tutorial on the left. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace.